Want to get rich? Uncle Sam will give you a break on one of these. That's politicians' promise gone wrong number six. We have got to support and strengthen family-based agriculture. Supporting family-based agriculture is the good intention. And America is sure doing that. Ready, big man? Come on. In New Jersey, the most densely populated state, Rose Mogerman raises alpacas. I'll be honest, the reason I got in, I was looking for a tax shelter. So was this woman. The tax benefits are great. Mm -hmm. There are so many tax benefits for livestock breeding, and alpacas are relatively easy to raise, that one website even advertises, have Uncle Sam help you buy your alpacas. Have Uncle Sam help buy your alpacas. So who ends up paying for your alpacas? Uncle Sam. Lots of people are getting in on it. I had tractors and stuff that I always played with, but I could never write it off. But after purchasing the alpacas, they, all my toys all of a sudden became tax write-offs. The Alpaca Breeders Association asked its members, on a scale of 1 to 10, what motivated you to buy? More than half rated tax benefits a 10. We got into it for the tax reasons. They may call themselves farmers, but they sound like accountants take a Section 179 deduction. Depreciated over five to seven years. There's something called CAUV. Alpacas are also valued for their fleece. Excellent gray fleece. But selling fleece doesn't explain the growth in alpaca raising. 25 years ago, there were 150 in America. Now there are 150,000. So, 10,000. She has a, a pedigree that is solid, solid gray. At alpaca auctions, prices have gotten high. It's only money. Don't be so uptight about it. Just recently, an animal sold at auction for over $600,000. Wow. But this is not necessarily a good thing. Do you have someplace else to go? This llama may not like me talking about this, but okay. economists at the University of California, Davis, okay. warn the industry is a bubble. Government's good at creating bubbles. Last year, I reported how Congress's ridiculous tax credits created a bubble in golf cart sales. It is endless the possibilities that this bill will pursue, encouraging energy-efficient products such as plug-in hybrid cars. Unfortunately, the plugs are connected to coal plants. The National Research Council says electric cars may be worse for the environment. No matter. The jobs that are going to be created. This car dealer advertised free electric cars. Buy one for $6,000 and take the $6,000 tax credit. Governor Mike Huckabee got one. A friend of his got seven. I got this one. Totally free. Free for me anyway. You taxpayers paid for it. The deal sure helped the golf cart industry. My dealers sold 10,000 carts. At least the golf cart credit expired, but most government giveaways don't. Uh, I fell in love with them. But first you fell in love with the tax break. Yes, yes, I have to be honest. <laughs> I might have had two. I wouldn't have had 100.